Assalamualaikum dan juga salam sejahtera Hai, kembali lagi ke Zaf Vlog So hari ni Zaf ada satu konten istimewa untuk korang Mulut Pakar Hollywood telah kembali untuk episod yang kedua Selepas kerja yang temu ramah bersama dengan pelakon filem Godzilla vs Kong Iaitu Millie Bobby Brown dan juga Julian Dennison Pada bulan Mac yang lepas, korang boleh tengok video tu kat sini Netflix Malaysia telah menjemput Zaf untuk menemu ramah Para pelakon filem Fear Street Trilogy Yang bakal keluar di streaming service Netflix Malaysia pada bulan Julai ini. Alright, sesi temu ramah ini terbahagi kepada dua Ini merupakan grup yang pertama Yang terdiri daripada Ashley Zuckerman sebagai chef Sheriff Nick Good Dia juga pernah membintangi TV siri Designated Survivor Di Netflix Kemudian kita ada Gillian Jacobs Yang sangat popular Dengan TV siri Community Dan di dalam animasi Invincible Sebagai Atom Eve Dan yang terakhir bersama dengan Daryl Britt Gibson Sebagai Martin Dia juga pernah membintangi Film Judas and the Black Messiah Dan juga film Keanu Zaf ingin mengucapkan Jutaan terima kasih Kepada Netflix Malaysia Kerana memberikan Kepercayaan ini Kepada Zaf Jadi tanpa membuang masa Jom kita tengok Sesi Temu Ramah Bersama dengan pelakon Film Fear Street Trilogy Let's go Hi guys, nice to finally meet you guys. Lovely to meet you. What's up, man? Hi. Uh, my name is Zafran, and you guys can call me Zaf. I do movie reviews in Malaysia, and currently we are in a lockdown. So yeah, Fear Street does put a smile on everybody's face this July. Uh, but first, oh, the wow. first question I would like to ask you guys is, can each one of you name one of your favorite slasher movies? We'll start off with Ash. Can you name one? Oh. My favorite, oh, my, my favorite slasher movies. I think uh, it has to be uh, the first Scream. I think uh, like that. That was it. It came out just <laughs> as I was uh, going to movies by myself. It came out when I was like I think twelve or or thirteen, and I was allowed to catch the bus to the mall and get some popcorn and see it myself. And so that was seminal for the, for that more than anything else. All right. Okay. Uh, for Daryl, uh, can you name one? You know, Zab, I'm not the. I don't watch too many slasher films. But I do, Scream is a big one, but since Ash used that one, I would possibly Took say, it. I know what you did last summer. Cause it's sort of like, the, the guy had like a, a fish hook. And I was like, that just is painful. Like that, I don't want you to know what I did last summer if you're gonna <laughs> hit me with a fish hook. Like it just, yeah, not 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 a fan of, of being stabbed with a fish hook, Zav. So I, I'd say I know what you did last summer. Yeah, nice. And for Gillian, can you name one? I haven't seen so many, but I really do love, I did love um, the David Gordon Green Halloween movie that mm. came out a few years ago, and I know there's a new one coming out. So I haven't seen all the Halloween movies. That's on me, but I really like that David Gordon Green one that I saw. So I'll put that up there. All right, nice. Thank you, guys. Okay, for the next question, will be related to your characters in this Fear Street trilogy, okay? We'll start off with Ash. We have seen you portray Peter McLeish in Designated Survivor. Can you share with us mm. a bit about your character, Sheriff the Good, and how do you feel with all of the surprises for the audience throughout the trilogy? I think, uh, well, well, Sheriff Nick Good is a, is a guy that lives with uh, a lot of privilege and there's a big question for him about how he interacts with that privilege. I, I think he's outside the story for a long time and so we don't know what's going on in his head and we don't know which side he's going to land on. Great. The next question is for Gillian. You play C. Berman in Fear Street Part 2 and Part 3 while missing out in the first movie. So what can you tell us about your character and how do you feel portraying this character compared with your past work? This character of C. Berman compared to my past work, I would say, is probably quite different. It was a great challenge for me as an actor. She's, you know, we meet her and she's been through so much. We don't know exactly what's happened with her, but she's been through a lot. And so I loved getting a chance to play this character. I love that it challenged me physically and emotionally. Okay, awesome. Okay, uh, this next question is for Daryl. Uh, can you share with us a bit about your character and how do you feel portraying this character throughout this trilogy also? Yeah, uh, so Martin P. Franklin is the lead custodial engineer. Some people like to say janitor, but nah, we lead custodial engineers over here uh, at the uh, Shady Side Mall. You know, it's it's like we can't share. And serve. I don't, I don't want to give anything away, but I will say that he's probably the greatest janitor in the history of janitor. He's the cool dude. Yeah, you know what I mean, Zach? He's cool too, man, you know? So <laughs> they gotta put some respect on uh, on Martin's name. <laughs> true, true, true. Let's proceed with the third question. With this pandemic COVID-19 still around us and we are mostly being kept indoor and locked down, mm. what would you mm. do if there's an urban legend that says that a ghost will come for you when you are all alone? What? What? <laughs> you shouldn't ask this question. You should write this script. Like, what? Yeah, that's a movie, man. So, Why are what, you giving away you... this premise? <laughs> what would you do if you if the ghost will haunt you if you are all alone? So we'll start off with Jillian. 
<laughs> be terrified? I don't know. Try to befriend the ghost. Um, find out why the ghost is in my house and see if there's anything I can do to help the ghost. That's good. That's good. All right, uh, what about Daryl? Yeah, I would do the same. I, you know, I try to reason with yeah. the ghost. You know, sit down, have a bag of chips with the ghost, maybe put on a game. Like, hey, you like the game? Just see what the <laughs> ghost is going through. Nobody asks a ghost what they're going through. You know, has anybody <laughs> talked to the ghost? Say, hey, ghost, how you feeling today? What are you doing? Like, well, why are you so angry? You know, we have this idea that ghosts are bad and evil. What if the ghost is just misunderstood? You know, true, true. Yeah, uh, actually, want to add something? I think that that's a great answer. I think what like like haunt is such a, a derogatory term. Like, why? Yeah. Like, like it brings so much judgment. Like, visit. You know, visited by a ghost. So maybe maybe there's a, a friendship to be. I think that's true. a wonderful way to look at it. <laughs> always love first. Love first love is first. always love. Always good love that. Uh, thank you very much, guys, oh, for man. spending your time. It was really with us. fun talking to you. <laughs> thank you yeah, so nice much. To talk to you. Yeah, nice to talk to you. All right, good luck with uh, Fear Street. All the trilogy. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, very you much. so much, Zach. Thanks. Please like and subscribe to the channel.